Hi guys, this is Klazart bringing another audio commentary and this time I am commentating on Game 5 of the Protoss vs Zerg Race Wars on Destination and uh, wow, uh, a month since I did my last commentary, I gotta apologize to you guys for that but you guys have to understand, those terrorists don't take themselves down and Mrs. Klazart can only be expected to entertain herself, if you know what I mean, for so long uh, before Mr. Klazart has got to get involved. So, um, better late than never, I'm really looking forward to this matchup. I have not watched this before. This is going to be Luxury versus Stork and Mrs. Klazart is giving me dirty looks right now. Um, she's got a knife in her hand, so I'm a little bit worried. Let's hope she's just going to use that to chop some onions and not some of Mrs. Klazart. Sorry, this is not Luxury. Luxury has been taken down by Stork in an epic matchup on Coliseum just before this uh, and it is his brother coming for revenge uh, and the question is, will the brother's quest for vengeance end in victory as in most Hollywood movies or is Stork going to come around and crush the Hollywood paradigm uh, and destroy another Zerg champion? I've got to mention at this point in time that I was quite shocked to learn when I, was, when I started commenting the series that Jadon wasn't part of the Zerg lineup. How can you put together a Protoss versus Zerg race war and not have the premier Zerg player Jadong to feature in this in, in this lineup? Although that being said, um, Jadong has come unstuck against some top, top Protoss players in the past. Nevertheless, um, he is a monster Zerg player, and it looks like Yarnax got his scout inside, and Savior is up next. And Savior at this point has got to be thinking to himself, please at least take Stork down. But it looks to me like this confrontation. I don't think Stork is gonna gonna match up against Savior, and it looks to me like a Savior versus Bisu confrontation, the battle to end all battles is probably around the corner uh, If, regardless of the encounter this matchup because I don't see Yarnak beating Bisu uh, and I don't see Stork beating Savior. So I have a feeling we're going to see Bisu. The, the, the only Zerg player in this lineup that I think can comfortably take out Bisu was July and I think he had a chance on game two when he had the map balance hugely in his favor and Yarnak doing a great job of harassing Stor uh, sorry, Stork doing a great job. Oh my god, I must be half asleep right now guys. Also, I want to take the opportunity to thank you guys um, for all the support on Autonomy. Uh, the book did make it through this time around um, and it wouldn't have been possible without your support and uh, for that I'm very grateful. Stork uh, just ha having got that scout in very early into Yarnak's base with some effective harass. Yarnak with his six slings out uh, and Stork with some very effective harass uh, has managed to slow Yarnak down. So Stork is going to have an advantage here because I do believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe that Yarnak went for a nine pool here uh, and Stork obviously scouted that and has got his photon cannons down. Looks like he's put three photon cannons down. I'm not sure if the third photon cannon was really necessary but I guess he feared that if he didn't have that there was a chance his opponent might be able to sneak a couple of links through and, and put some pressure on him. So having invested in those early links uh, and, and, and also having gotten the gas up, but he's no longer mining it. So I'm not sure what Yarnak's plan is here. He's going to be a little bit behind. Even if he does get speed upgraded Zerglings, he's going to be behind in terms of his economy. I guess he's decided to stop mining gas, try and focus on minerals and maybe pump that economy going because he realizes he's going to be behind in terms of his economy since he got scouted so early by Stork, uh, having gone for the 9 pool uh, and, and Yarnak didn't even send the Zerglings out. Stork and, and Yarnak committing all of his drones as well. That's why he wasn't mining gas and just producing drones. He realizes how far behind he was because he committed himself to that early pool. And so now Yarnak with Zerglings and 6 drones rushing up the middle of the map. But this is going to be disaster for him. It's going to be so so painful because Stork has got the extra photon cannon. Maybe if Stork only had the two photon cannons, but Stork somehow has psychically sensed Yarnak's motives. And now Yar Stark has sent uh, a probe in, and Yarnak has to pull all of his Zerglings back, and that's going to delay his rush even further because he could not allow that probe. That probe getting into Yarnak's base would have instantly given Yarnak Stork the scouting information. But as it is, this is going to be a disastrous suicide attack by Yarnak on Stork's base, uh, and he's bringing those drones around the back, and that's why we have that third photon cannon, and that's why he's bringing the drones because he's going to try and mine that mineral blockade out from the ramp to try and gain access into Stork's base uh, and Stork is going to now see it but the question is is he going to be able to do anything about it? Yarnak must have practiced this strategy before uh, that's why he's executing I think that might be a photon cannon potentially you know it's a cybernetic score going down in Stork's base so Yarnak if he can mine those minerals might actually be able to get in there and deal some damage to Stork uh, but he doesn't seem to be able to get in be able to get through just yet and he's got a bunch of Zerglings waiting there he's committed himself to this attack Stork surely has to know this is coming right now but he doesn't seem to be reacting at all either he doesn't seem to be aware it looks like that probe uh, as it goes through from the Nexus straight down the ramp doesn't actually see the mineral line uh, and now Stork has seen it Stork has seen it he's got a couple of Zealots out and he's just gonna block the ramp so Yarnax um, 
Yarnak's strategy not working. I think the key there was probably the delay, perhaps, with the probe. I don't think that made a difference, though, because the Zerglings uh, still arrived in time before the Mineral Patch was taken out. So, very ill-advised strategy by Yarnak. I wonder if he's tested this out against a semi-decent Protoss player in practice before actually trying to execute it against a player of, of Stork's caliber, who, as we know, does not make mistakes. So, he spotted it, got in his defenses in place, he's got a pylon down, he's got three Zealots blocking the ramp, he's now going to get a Photon Cannon down as well. And he's going to shut, and he, and, uh, and he did cancel that third fortnight. And now, finally, the mineral patch is gone, but the three zealots surely are going to be able to hold. Drone drill managed to get a couple of drones through against the zealots, but the zerglings are blocked as well, and only a few of them able to engage in battle. Stork now pulling the probes off the line. Stork doing an excellent defense job with minimal uh, units. Now, finally, Yarnak managed to get the zerglings up, but he's lost too many already, and now we're down to something like four zerglings against four zealots. More zerglings coming through, uh, but Yarnak just not able to do enough, I don't think, and he's now got about four zerglings left, and Stork has got defenses all over the place and Yarnak sacrifices pretty much his entire economy to be able to affect that attack so that's pretty much GG right there Stork takes both the brothers down vengeance will not be theirs today uh, and it's going to be left as savior to rescue uh, the pride of the Zerg this has this has certainly been humiliation Stork with a brilliant timing attack against Luxury in the previous game now taking down Yarnak and in a very strong position and if Stork can take down Savior that is going to be huge although I don't think it's going to happen uh, and I do think it's going to be Savior versus Bisu but the Zerg players have really left Savior a lot to do here um, the score is now going to be 3-2 and finally Yarnak coming in with all of his Zerglings he managed to get a few more Zerglings out he's going to take all the Photon Cannons down at Stork's Natural but Stork has, has got Zealots uh, and he's just going to be able to push those crowd those Zerglings out yet again and a Dragoon pops out as well and uh, Yarnak's attack isn't going to be effective even though he's killed a bunch of bunch of probes of Storks is not going to, he's continuing to pump Zerglings out from his two hatcheries, but Stork is just going to keep building that, that toss army, and, and as that army continues to build up, Yarnak, actually with a decent number of Zerglings there, and he has taken out the Photon Cannon, he's trying to get some sort of surround, now again, trying to take down the other Photon Cannon in the middle, Stork forced to cancel, picking off the Dragoon as well, and six Zerglings somehow managed to sneak through Stork's base, I cannot believe this is happening, he's managed to sneak six Zerglings through, but it doesn't matter, because Yarnak has got four Zealots, and he just has to keep building that Zealot army, and that's why he's trying to concentrate them, not allowing those Zealots to get picked off. Uh, and Yarnak knows the situation grows more and more desperate. He's done a good job of trying to find a way through, but it's just his disadvantage was too great after his initial strategy failed so miserably. Maybe he needed more drones or something to, to, to break through that mineral line initially to get through those minerals quicker. It just took him too long to mine it out, and it was scouted. Uh, and uh, I just can't see how a Zerg player can affect that, that strategy without being noticed. And the fact that a probe going through from the Nexus to the Natural Expo is always going to see that. I just don't see how effective a strategy is going to be. So this is a strange strategy employed by Yarnak. I guess he felt this was a bit of a throwaway game. It almost makes me feel like he didn't take it seriously. Uh, but GG nonetheless. Yarnak's gone. Stork defeats another Zerg player. Uh, and uh, Stork makes it 3-2 for Protoss uh, on the verge of securing the Protoss versus Zerg Race Wars victory. So it's going to be Savior versus Stork on the next matchup, guys. This is Klazart. Again, I apologize for taking so long to get this commentary to, uh, commentary to you. As you can probably hear, I've got a little bit of a nasal thing going on right now. Um, I just been I've just been had this kind of really weird sort of flu thing that's kind of going and coming and going and coming. This doesn't seem to settle down, uh, and that's the main reason for the delay. But um, anyway, this is Klazart. Thanks for listening.